Venturing into the unknown is part of the thrill for my friends and me. This one time, we set off on an adventurous spelunking trip that was supposed to be an epic journey, exploring the maze of streams and hidden waterfalls within a cavern near a river. However, nature had other plans. As we delved deeper into the cave, taking in the awe of the labyrinthine pathways, the weather outside turned for the worse. Rain started to pelt down in a relentless downpour. We hadn't foreseen this, and soon, the water began flooding into the cave, blocking our access to familiar pathways. It was a disorienting sight to see the water levels gradually rising. Caught in a state of alarm and feeling the thrill of a real-life adventure gone awry, we made some poorly calculated decisions. In a panic and without much choice, we navigated some of the newly flooded passageways by swimming through them, which in retrospect was a dauntless yet reckless move. The echo of water's force against the cave walls mixed with our laughter and nervous quips, our anxious minds trying to mask the gravity of the situation. The passage of time became blurred as our escapade turned into a struggle against the elements. The cave, once a place of curiosity and exploration, had turned into a maze that held us captive. Thirteen long hours later, we emerged from the cave, battered, famished, parched, and with minor injuries that came with our daring yet foolish choices. Looking back, it was a story we'd always laugh about and a cautionary tale of adventure gone wrong. It taught us the importance of preparedness, respect for nature's unpredictability, and the significance of making wise decisions in the face of the unknown. But it was an experience that made us closer friends and gave us a memorable story to share even if it wasn't the safest or smartest escapade we'd embarked upon. Lost in the vast wilderness, with nothing but the company of my friend's loyal dog, I found myself facing the raw reality of being disoriented and disheartened. The forest canopy loomed above me, a labyrinth of twisted paths that led me further away from any semblance of recognition. The sun played a hide-and-seek game behind the clouds, leaving me clueless about direction and time. For what felt like an eternity, I meandered through the forest, an eerie silence surrounding me. I tried to remain calm and retrace my steps, but the more I walked, the more lost I seemed to become. Panic and anxiety began to rise, a tangled knot in my stomach. I was consumed by the dreadful thought of being stuck in the woods with no means to find my way back. With dwindling hope, I looked to my companion, the faithful dog, for a miraculous solution. Desperation took over, and in a hopeful tone, I urged the dog, let's head home, it's time for a good meal. And like a miracle, the dog perked up as if understanding my plea. Without hesitation, the dog led the way, bounding over the terrain with an innate sense of direction. As I followed the eager pup, an overwhelming mix of relief and amazement flooded my senses. The dog guided me back, traversing the woodland with precision, and within a matter of minutes we emerged over a ridge, and there it was, the cozy cabin, a beacon of safety and familiarity. That moment was a blend of utter joy and gratitude, a burst of elation that made me holler in sheer exhilaration once I realized I was safe. It was a lesson learned. Always be prepared and never underestimate the intuitive prowess of a trusty companion. From that day on, I made a vow to carry essential tools, communicate my whereabouts, and cherish the uncanny wisdom that animals sometimes possess. And of course, the dog was rewarded with a feast fit for a hero. The world can seem heavy, suffocating under the weight of depression and hopelessness. About three years ago, that weight bore down on me, and my mind swirled with thoughts of an escape, a way out of the torment that plagued my every thought. The escape I planned was something so drastic, so inexplicably dangerous. It involved the great Inyo National Forest, a sanctuary of tranquility yet the stage for a desperate act. Ensnared by the suffocating grip of my emotions, I meticulously arranged a plan that walked the edge between survival and peril. With an Amazon-ordered survival kit in hand, I set off on an aimless journey. 
The drive was reminiscent of a childhood trip to Disneyland, but instead of the anticipation of fun and joy, my heart pulsed with a different, foreboding thrill. As I plunged deeper into the forest, dusk began to cloak the sky. Panic slightly clutched at my chest as I realized the encroaching nightfall would hinder my survival plans. Racing against time, I stumbled upon a small clearing, a slice of solace amidst the tree maze, and there I set up camp, welcoming sleep. The following morning was the awakening to a haunting reality. Drenched in confusion, fear, and disorientation, I was lost in the unyielding embrace of the forest's mysteries. Panic ignited my steps, disorienting me further, and a wild frenzy set in, unraveling my initial misguided intentions. Shivering in the cold with trembling breaths and a heart pounding with both fear and the icy embrace of the wilderness, I discovered a truth. Survival was no longer a yearning. The terrors of nature, conjured in my mind with every rustle of a leaf or whisper of the wind, compounded the ordeal. I had taken a plunge into darkness and found myself grappling with the demons that roamed the unknown. Morning arrived, rescuing me from the desolation of the forest. Walking through the maze of trees, disoriented yet determined, I stumbled onto the road that led me there, an oasis in my wandering. A kind, elderly stranger in a black truck became the beacon of hope, offering a ride back to my car, and ultimately, the path home. The forest did not only shelter me in its thickets, but also sheltered my mind from the treacherous paths of despair. That weekend, cloaked in the shadows of the forest, shifted my perspective. It drove me to seek the help I needed, guiding me to the light from the darkest corners of my thoughts. I discovered the value of life, the importance of seeking the assistance necessary to combat my inner struggles. Though my journey was steeped in misdirected desperation, the untamed wildness and the grip of fear snapped me out of my misguided intentions. It was a journey of survival, not in the wilderness, but within the complexities of my own mind. And that survival brought me the greatest gift of all, renewed appreciation for life. Amidst the wilderness, a hunter finds solace. This particular day unfolded much like any other, starting with the allure of the woods, the quiet solitude, and the promise of a serene hunt. Yet, as the day waned and dusk painted the sky in its nightly hues, a seemingly ordinary hunting trip took a distressing turn, thrusting the hunter into an unforeseen ordeal. Time, often elusive in the tranquility of the woods, turned against the hunter. The golden fingers of the sun that dance on the forest floor began to fade, retreating into the shadows. Descending from the tree stand, the hunter felt the loss more than anticipated. A missing flashlight and a dwindling phone battery. The woods, once a sanctuary, turned into an abyss of uncertainty. The disquieting realization of being lost enveloped the hunter, a familiar yet alarming feeling. It's a mix of discomfort, panic lurking at the edges, and an ardent need to maintain composure. For any outdoor enthusiast, this moment is the bridge between familiarity and disorientation. Amidst the eerie veil of darkness, the hunter found himself unprepared, an uncomfortable twist to an otherwise familiar routine. With no guiding light, a simple walk back turned into a journey filled with trepidation. A desperate, last-ditch message to the fiance illuminated the gravity of the situation. Lost, but determined to survive the unforeseen night in the woods. Resourcefulness became the guiding star. Bundled leaves, sticks, and a string soaked in lip balm came together, crafting a torch that flickered dimly but cast enough light to guide the hunter's way. The realization struck. A torch could illuminate the path home. And there it was, a faint yet comforting light leading the way, revealing a known trail. Navigating the forest with the meager light of the improvised torch, the hunter followed a familiar trail, a lifeline amidst the wilderness. This path, recognized even in the muted illumination, acted as a guiding thread, leading back to the security of the vehicle. Finally, the woods, which had been a labyrinth of darkness moments before, unfolded a familiar escape route. Upon reaching the safety of the truck, 
The hunter called the concerned fiance, assuring them of safety, of a journey out of darkness into light, a journey home, to warmth, to safety, and to the comfort of knowing that even in the bleakest moments, a glimmer of resourcefulness can light the path home.